All right, perfect. So, January 27th, 2015. And before we jump into this, I just want to do a quick recognition, as always, to kind of talk. We'll do the, the personal volume from last week. Um, so, personal volume for the new coaches is just anything that you personally purchase yourself or customers order from you. So we always post in the, in the coach group the top 20 uh, for personal volume. So last week, we had a bunch of people that were in the 200 club. We had Megan O'Neill, Carol Ciolo, Brandy Giortes, Melissa Virgil, Lauren Fravel, Kelly Marks, Gisela Santellan, Kristen Cohn, Whitney Burden, uh, Marilyn Barguette, and Alyssa Sardelli. And then in the 300 Club, we had Pete Reelman, Chris Bocklet, Sarah Corbecki, Joe Wagner, Nicolette Sidowitz. In the 400 Club, we had Ginger Holiday, or Halliday, and myself. And then in the 500 Club, we had Andrea Wallace. And in the 600 Club, we had Amy Reelman at the top of the list. Um, I'm having a tough time keeping up with those two sisters but it's a good thing. Uh, okay, cool. So really special guest today on the call. So Chris is someone that uh, I watched build her business as I was making excuses the whole time. And so she was kind of somebody that I watched do it on the sideline. And then she was a lot of the reason that I got in the game and, and really made it happen. Uh, she, she's in the Boston area, which is where I lived. And so I would see her at Super Saturday and each time I'd go to a Super Saturday, I'd still be the same rank, and she would always be the next rank up. She was always building her business. Um, so she also pushed me, and I think we kind of pushed each other to hit elite last year together, which was really cool. And uh, I think there was uh, maybe 100 coaches around them that hit elite last year. And then we both hit elite this year again. So she's a two-time elite coach. She's a success club legend. Okay, well, yeah. Which, which means she's made Success Club for 24 straight months. Uh, she's a PIO Insanity and a P90X certified instructor. She earned top 100 for personal volume points in the month of December and earned $100 cash from Carl Deichler. That was a little promo he had going on. She's currently at number 22 in the entire organization for Success Club points this month and the top 30 get a call, personal 30-minute call with Carl Deichler. Uh, so that's pretty cool. She's at 22 out of 230,000 coaches. Uh, so, Chris, she was also in the 21-Day tw Fix Extreme Test Group. So she's going to tell us everything we need to know about it. Chris, we're super excited that you hopped on here. It's all yours. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for that awesome introduction. It's funny when you kind of say that stuff and you're like, really? Wow. You know? And it's just amazing because, um, you know, as Patrick says, when we were in the Boston area and we met um, a few years back, I used to, you know, look out there and be like, oh, who's that cutie boat there? And he was like this young little kid. And, you know, look at him now. I mean, he left his full-time job and he, I don't know, he probably is a higher rank than me by now. So um, anyway, it, you know, it's just really amazing where, where you start and where you can be in this company. And for me, I was right where Patrick was, sitting in those seats at Super Saturday events and, you know, looking at people and thinking, you know, all those people would get up on stage and I'd be like, really? If they're up there, why can't I do it? And I made that decision that, you know what, I can do everything that they're doing. And, um, and then from there, I just did what I had to do. And, I, you know, I... As much as it sounds like, oh, you know, you're elite coach, you're this, you're that, I don't look at myself as anything special. You know, I look at, oh, you look at the top 10 coaches and you hear the same names over and over again. And I don't think of myself as anything special. And, you know, I'm honored to be on this call with all of you and, you know, Patrick to ask me to speak to all of you, but I don't do anything out of the ordinary. I just do what I'm supposed to do. And that really is about being consistent in this business. That is about following the three vital behaviors. And every call that I do, I talk about the three vital behaviors. And a lot of people are sick about hearing about the three vital behaviors, 
They're like, that's all we hear about is the three vital behaviors. Well, I'm telling you, it's that simple. It's the three vital behaviors. You do it, you do it every day, have success. And it's consistency over time. My favorite book, and if you haven't read it, write this down. You've got to read this book, is The Compound Effect. And I'm sure many of you have read it. I'm sure Patrick has shared that book with you. But that book talks about our business. And, you know, everybody wants that, you know, get rich business. And that's not what this is about. But you can build that foundation now. And if you do all the right things and you follow the three vital behaviors and you're successful, but when you let life get in the way and everybody has stuff that comes up, whether it's death, illness, sickness, um, you know, kids activities and whatever it may be, you're buying a house, you're having a baby, whatever, all of that stuff happens for everybody. You're not any special than anybody else because you've got issues. Everybody has issues in their life, but how you choose to deal with those issues and how you choose to put your time into your business, that's up to you. If you want this bad enough, you'll do the things it takes to get there. And it's that simple. It's the simple things over time that makes you successful. So cool. that's really my kind of, <laughs> that's really my you know, what I really focused on is being consistent, you know, and consistency is those three vital behaviors. Yes. Consistency about your own workouts, drink and shakeology every day. That's consistency. Once you stop doing the workouts, once you stop drinking shakeology, I don't know how people have shakeology piled up. I don't know how people think, oh, I have to put my shakeology on hold. I hope that's none of you on this call because you should be drinking shakeology every single day. And, you know, share it with your family. Everybody should be drinking it. It's amazing the benefits you get from Shakeology. And I'll be honest with you, my first year in coaching, I did not drink Shakeology. I started this business in August 2009 as a discount coach because I had done my first round of P90X as a customer in March of 2009. And I had, you know, pretty good results. And then my coach, Mike Mullally, some of you may know, offered this opportunity, inviting him to come to one of like the beach body logo. And I'm like, what is this? And I just finished P90X, didn't really know much about anything. And I said, oh, well, I think I kind of want to do that P90X plus. So at that point, I, he pushed and pushed and pushed, convinced me to do it. And I said, listen, I'm done in three months. I was working another business. I was successful with that. I said, I'm done. January, 2010, I went to my first and everything changed. I realized this is the path that I need to take. This is what I'm passionate about in life. I love fitness. I love exercise. And I love the whole nutrition piece come Emerald. I still was an Emerald in January of 2010 when I started in August because I was like, whatever. I wasn't really talking to people about it. And then I became Emerald. In June, I became Diamond. And I signed my husband up as a coach in October. In August, it wasn't until August of 2010, a year later, that I started drinking Shakeology, and that's when my business skyrocketed, because I truly believe you have to be a product of the product in order to be successful in this business, and if you're not doing it, how can you tell somebody else to do it? So that's really why I think that is one of the vital behaviors that is so important, and to me, that's a no-brainer. That's an easy one. I'm going to get up, and I'm going to work out every day. I don't care what's happening. Oh, I forgot. I have to start. I'm not that I have a Boston accent. Okay, where are you all from? I'm sure all over the country. I'm, I'm going to try my, hard, my hardest to pronounce my R's. Anyway, <laughs> you guys want to see all the snow that we got today? It's crazy. Anyway, Patrick, no, by the way, where are you? Are you in Florida right now? Yeah, um, I'm no white snow here, just white sand beaches. Okay, I'm coming there in two weeks. So nice. um, come over and visit me in Naples. Anyway, sure. so that's what's so important is being a product of the product and um, making sure, you know, so from that point, I was like, okay, I'm doing this. And now a day doesn't go by that I'm not drinking Shakeology. So that's the consistency part is your workouts, is your Shakeology. And that is the easiest part. Then, of course, there's the inviting process is inviting people. But you can never stop that. You always have to be finding new contacts. And a lot of times people will say to me, well, how do you find new contacts? 
contacts are everywhere and anywhere, whether it's social media, whether it's the grocery store, whether it's your kids' sporting events. I mean, it's you can meet people. Every, I mean, I go to um, the mall and I go shopping at Athleta. It's one of my favorite places to shop. And I meet people there because people in Athleta are, you know, that's what they like to buy. They love fitness. They love health. And you just start talking to people. So hey, Chris. it's really talking to people and sharing with people, but being yeah. consistent about that. Don't stop sharing your story. And that's the most important, important part is not just talking to people to sell a product. It's about sharing what you love and what has worked for you with Beachbody is share your story. And then of course the biggest is personal development. You guys are all here tonight. So check off on your BAT. I hope you're using your BAT. When I say that word, some people cringe because they don't like the BAT. They don't want to use the BAT, but personal development, you got a check mark for tonight. So thank you all for being here and you can be proud of yourselves. You got some personal development in, but the BAT is really something that I, I can't even remember who told me that you need to do the BAT. And I was like, I'm not doing this. I do everything. I don't need to keep track. Why do I need to keep track? I'm fine. I'm reaching success club every month. I'm a lead coach. I don't need to follow the BAT. Let me tell you, I'm going to show you guys right now, <laughs> which some of you may look at this like you're crazy. BAT. Computer. This is a pile of all my BAT. So I use every week to keep track of my contacts, what I'm doing every day. And the big part that I like is the bottom part is the follow up right here. Because what I do is I go back to those sheets and that's where I follow up. So if I'm at a kind of a stand, so it's success club points and it's like, okay, what's today, January 27th? I'm like, oh my God, I don't have any points. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Then I go back to those sheets because there was somebody I talked to two weeks ago that said they were interested in purchasing 21 day fix. And then all of a sudden, where'd they go? But if you don't write names down and you don't have a system to follow up, then you're not going to remember to go back to them. So it's so important to have a system that works for you. And everybody has a different system. And through the years that I've been doing this, I've had many systems. And right now, this is the system that's working for me, so I'm sticking with it, and I feed through all these piles of paper, and it might be a little bit crazy, but I you know, go back and I follow up with people. So when I'm stuck and I'm looking you know, to really reach Success Club, then I go through those sheets, and um, that's where I do my um, follow-up and try to connect with people. And that's where you're going to get those three vital behaviors that I talked about. Everything on that BAT is your three vital behaviors. So if you struggle with, oh God, these three vital behaviors, I can't get them done. Look at that BAT. It's going to put on, it's going to, right on the top is uh, be approved the product works. Are you drinking Shakeology? Are you, are you doing your workouts? Um, are you posting on social media? Are you listening to the coach call? Are you inviting people? You're inviting people into the business. You're inviting people to challenge groups. You're inviting people to fit clubs. Um, are you connecting with your coaches? Everything that you need to do for your business is on that BAT. So if you're not using the BAT and you're wondering why is my business not moving forward, then my recommendation is print one of these off or if you're a computer person and then just get on the computer and start on Thursdays and you do your BAT for a week until Wednesday and keep track because one thing, and then you look back and you're like, oh, I haven't posted on social media in two days or I only posted once today. So that reminds me to go back and post on social media. And, you know, maybe you look and you're like, I have, you know, I don't have any follow-up. If you guys look, this is one of, one of my strengths that I feel I'm pretty good at is see that follow-up. Look at all those tally marks. That's all follow-up. Just so you guys know, this month I have 32 success club points. Crazy, right? Some of you are like, I can't even get five. I don't even know where 32 successful points came from. I have to go back. I'm like, really? I don't even, it's crazy. But it's that follow-up and it's being consistent with your follow-up. And don't be afraid to follow up with people. I think it's really, really important. I, um, you know, I, I, I look at it like this. And don't ever think that you're bugging somebody when you're following up with people. Because think about this. Say you get a catalog in the mail. Say it's like L.L. Bean. 
and it comes in the mail and you open it up, you look and you're like, oh, I like those boots. I think I'm going to get those boots. Then you put it in that pile of stuff and eventually you'll get to it. All of a sudden your phone rings and it's somebody from L.L. Bean saying, did you get the catalog from L.L. Bean? Did you see on page 25 the boots that are on sale? And then you're like, oh, that's right. I forgot to order those boots. I really wanted to order those boots. Same thing with our business. If you get in touch with somebody and you talk to them about a program and then you just let it go and fitness and nutrition is at the top of our list, but it's not for everybody else. So if you call somebody up and you remind them of the importance of taking care of themselves, they are going to be grateful for that phone call from you or that email or that text from you because that's going to remind them in their crazy busy life the importance of taking care of themselves and getting involved in a challenge group, getting on a program and doing something and making a difference in their life. So don't ever feel like you're bugging somebody. It's so important that you are following up. So kind of keep that in the back of your mind when you're really struggling and nervous about calling somebody. People need our help. And if we're not there in the forefront to constantly remind them, then they're not going to do it. And so just think of coming from your heart and helping people. And so that's my kind of spiel on the BAT and following up and why I think I'm successful. Um, and I know you guys want to hear about 21 Day Extreme, right? <laughs> um, so any questions before I continue? Patrick, anything? Um, I guess with the, the follow-up, so you just, you work from a list. That's how you keep track of the people you need to follow up. But I know that personally, the, the months that I have my best months as far as successful points are the months that I'm super consistent and on top of the follow-ups and the coaches, all the coaches on team boom that are killing it with successful points. They're all extremely good at follow-ups. They're very consistent with it and they follow up at least twice before they kind of give up mm -hmm. on someone. Uh, so how do you keep track of the people that you need to follow up with? I think for me, um, it's, it's really that business activity track at the bottom part of it, the follow up. So week to week, if I talk to somebody, I put them on there and I know, okay, you know, I had that initial contact with them. So I put them, their name on there. So I know, know I need to go back, you know, they might not respond or they respond and I respond and it kind of is dormant. So then you need to kind of check back with them. And it may be a simple thing like, how are you? Or you may see something on their page or they change their profile picture. Oh my God, I love your profile picture. Just to engage with them and start a conversation and don't jump in and jump, just jump in and say, Hey, by the way, did you order that challenge pack? Right. That's not how you follow up. Your follow up has to be genuine and you have to reach out to them as if you care about them and not like just to sell a challenge pack and get your success club points. That's not what this business is about. This business is about reaching out and helping other people. Think about if someone didn't ask you to be here for the coaching opportunity where you would be right now in your life. And that's the same thing when you're following up with people. If you're not offering that opportunity to change their life, think about what could happen to them. And so many people are in such a bad place, whether they're, you know, they're doomed for a heart attack or, or a stroke or, you know, they have high cholesterol, a lot of medical issues. And you can help people because a lot of that can be reversed. And, you know, yes, it's the weight loss piece, but it's all the medical issues that come along with that too. So we can be that catalyst for those people. So I, I just think it's just so important to find a way to make sure that you're, whether you keep a notebook or whatever works for you to keep a way to make sure that you're following up. Awesome. Yeah, and I think like I'd probably say 90% or more of the people that uh, my customers are people that I had to follow up with at least twice. Uh, so mm -hmm. I think the coaches that are doing a great job of inviting and then not doing the follow up are missing out on 90% of the people or more that they that they could be helping, uh, which mm -hmm. is unfortunate. Uh, okay, cool. So I think that um, myself and, and a lot of the team of coaches are pretty good with with uh, connecting with people on social media and inviting, but not maybe at least me, I'm not the best and I need to get better at, and I'm working at getting better at uh, just striking up a conversation. I know that's something you're really good at. Like you were just kind of talking about it. You're out at the mall or how does that like conversation start? And then where does it go? 
Um, I think, you know, it all depends. Like most often people are either going to complain because they're tired. They don't have any energy. They want to, you know, they want to get fit. Um, and I just wait for the conversation to start and, and, and the door just opens because I think fitness um, comes into play in so many different ways and aspects that, I mean, for me, if it's people who live locally, I run a fit club. And so it's an easy way for me to offer something that's for free. And I say, oh, by the way, I, you know, where do you live? Or I, by the way, I run this fit club and it's on Wednesday nights at 630. It's free. You can come anytime. I can add you to my Facebook group page. That way, you know what workout we're doing every week. I'm not asking anybody to buy anything. I'm not giving them my business card. I'm not giving them my website to say, go buy this. I get them in the door, get, start engaging with them, get, invite them. Uh, you know, as a friend on Facebook, I think the biggest thing is getting people connected to you on Facebook so they're watching you and they see what you're doing. They hear your story. They follow you. They're inspired by you. And, you know, the biggest thing on Facebook is don't sell yourself. Like today, and so proud of my husband I have to say and I don't know Patrick if you saw my post but my husband um, just finished the 21 day fix on Sunday so my husband obviously lives in this house with me and sees how crazy I am every day getting up and doing my workouts and measuring in my containers and then you know he drinks Shakology every day he works out but for the longest time he ate whatever he wanted and he would be hungry at 10 o'clock at night. I don't buy Oreos anymore, but cookies, picking at all that stuff. And it got to the point where it was way too much. I don't know. I can't even remember three weeks ago what made the decision for him to commit to 21 Day Fix. But he committed to the 21 Day Fix and were so good because he would leave. He would drink a shake in the morning and he'd leave for the day. And he'd come home starving at 4 o'clock. Some days he'd be out, he'd stop and he'd have a lunch. But he might not. He doesn't bring any protein bars or almonds or anything. Just left. No fruit, nothing. I'm like, how do you leave the house and not have any food with you? Because was, I hope all of you know, we eat every two to three hours. So we always have something with us. And so all of a sudden, with this 21-day fix, he was leaving with a banana and an apple and almonds and walnuts and a chicken wrap. And it was like every single day, he had everything prepped. And he had his big, huge bottle of water. I was making sure he's drinking like tons of water. Anyway, he lost 12.2 pounds in 21 days, four and a half inches, and he did amazing. And he stayed so committed. And now, like, he's off two days, and I'm thinking, oh, God, he's going to be – somebody commented on the page, oh, did he eat the Cheez-Its yet? And I'm like, no, he hasn't snacked at night. He's drinking all his water. And he's really, he's really stayed committed to that because that three weeks, that 21 days is so important to break that cycle with your nutrition. And if you guys have not done the 21 day fix, I'm gonna tell you guys, it is a game changer. I, I can't even tell you the majority of the programs that I sell, I, I probably should go back and look in the 32 success club points I have, probably, actually most of them probably the 21 day fix. Because I believe that program is for anyone and everyone, because most people struggle with their nutrition and you know, that was huge. So getting back, I'm getting off on a tangent because I'm excited about my husband's results, but <laughs> is I um, posted, but I didn't post and say, oh, if you want to know more about this program or go check out this video about 21 Day Fix, this is what he did. I just simply said, I'm proud of my husband. He committed to this program for 21 days. He was eating healthy. He was um, controlling his portions. He drank a lot of water. He wasn't eating, um, you know, um, snacking at night, blah, blah, blah. This is what he lost. That's all I said. And he's got tons of likes and comments. And of course my husband's like, well, no one's asking about it. And I'm like, don't worry. It's okay. You can follow up with some of the comments and the likes and just say, thank you for liking my post. Um, you know, let me know if you're interested. You can talk to my wife. Um, I really can't believe how good I feel. And just start engaging a conversation with those people. My husband is in sales. So so and he really he's a coach, but he doesn't really run the business. He doesn't even know how to log into his account. But this was the first program. Him, he's done P90X, P90X3, but the first program that he's been all in with nutrition. So, you know, 
am I taking him as my little guinea pig? I guess. And you know, uh, uh, he posted pics. He goes, you, I can't believe I put my belly out there. And should I have done that? I'm like, listen, you've got to do it. It's fine. You watch what's going to happen. So it's a way to start some conversation. And so with, between him and myself, we'll kind of reach out to those people who responded and be able to work with some of that. And, and it's more about people watching and being inspired by what you're doing and not throwing up on people beach body. And you should make sure, you, you know, when you post and on the BAT, it says, you know, post three times a day, but one should be like, you know, family, beach body, motivational, um, and put the different things out there. My, my daughter blew her nose today and a bubble came out of the tissue. It's disgusting. I put it on Facebook. It's gross. But it, you know what I mean? It's just like that stupid stuff that you put out there that people need to see what you're doing or, you know, okay, you drink some wine or you have some chips, put it out there. We're real people. And, you know, you need to make sure people know that, you know, it's not just beach body and that's all you do and you're perfect. And yeah, we all make mistakes. We all fall off and that's okay. People need to see that you're real. So that's kind of my that's little awesome. spiel. On that. Um, you know, I think I, so like if I'm, if I'm talking to somebody, uh, that, that I meet, you know, somewhere out and about, and we're just chatting, you know, forming, just asking them about themselves. And they mention something like that, that they're not feeling great, that they're tired. And I kind of say, Oh, well, I got this free group on Facebook where we kind of share tips and recipes and kind of support each other. If you're interested, do you just kind of whip out your phone and, and have them send you a friend request? Do you send them a friend request or how, how does that like, exchange go because I'm sure you don't leave that conversation without their contact information. Right. That is the most important thing is getting their contact info. Never mind pulling out a business card. I hardly even use them. I have them, but I hardly use them. What I would say is, um, you know, I really share what's worked for me. You know, I'll just say, I want to be honest with you. You know, this is where, you know, what I've been doing um, recently, you know, whether it's a program 21 day fix or I offer, I have a free group or, you know, a free program. I said, if you give me your email um, and your name, I can, you know, connect back with, back with you and send you, a, you know, a couple of videos with some information. And, um, you know, are you on Facebook? I always ask, are you on Facebook? And I always don't just get their name because sometimes you can't pe find people with their name. So I always make sure I get their email because if I can't connect with them on Facebook, at least I have their email. So I can follow up with them and send them an email and say, I was unable to find you on Facebook, but here's my Facebook link. And then, or I just would send an email and say, it was great meeting you today. I'm looking forward to connecting with you on Facebook. Not, oh, here's this, this, and this, and you should you know, try this program and blah, blah, blah. You don't, you, it, the, exactly what you said, Patrick, it's the forming. You want to get to know people and really find out what their needs and goals are before you kind of throw up beach body all over them. Um, and you know what? And I know for us, we want that it's quick, you know, maybe right now at the end of the month, you're like, Oh my God, I got to get successful points. How am I going to get there? And you want to just, Oh my God, we got this 21 day fix and it's on sale until the end of the month. But it's the forming piece that's so important because in time, they're eventually going to join you, but it takes time and patience and, 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 and the problem is we want that quick whatever, you know, like a quick fix. We want a quick fix with our business. We want it. People want a quick fix to lose weight, but it, it does take some with me two, two years ago and have watched me for two years. And I might invite them to one of my event, you know, pages that I'm doing, you know, invite them to a support group and they might say, no, I might invite them to a free clean eating group. And then finally something clicks and they finally decide they want to do something with me. And that has happened several times that people take if people are in different stages of their life you can't give up on people and that's one thing for me i never give up on people if they say no to me that doesn't mean i cross their name off the list it means i check back with them again and again and again until they tell me to get out of their face or they say yes i want to be in your challenge group yes i want to buy that yes i want to be a coach otherwise they never come off my list i keep checking back with them. Awesome. So that's really important is just because someone says no to you, you know, everyone gets discouraged. And then I've had so many coaches come to me. Oh, they, 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 I'm so discouraged right now. I'm like, just keep at it. Keep sharing. Keep talking to people 
and eventually they will come around. And the most important thing is get people connected and watch you on Facebook. Yeah. What, so what do you, what would you say is like when your coaches come to you with like something they're struggling with, what's like the number one, like the biggest obstacle or struggle for them? And then what do you kind of tell them to help them break through? Um, so that I've had these two examples this week. I had um, one person where I'm like, she was all, you know, I have coaches that are all gung ho and I'm sure many of you have been there like, woohoo, this business is great. I love it. And then all of a sudden someone says no to you and then you get another no and then you get another no and you're like, I'm not listening to the coach call. I'm not reaching out to anybody anymore. I'm not getting on our team call. Why am I even bothering? Because it's not working for me. Well, then when you start doing that stuff and get discouraged, then yes, you're not going to get anywhere in your business. You have to get past that. That's those failures that are going to push you forward. And that is so important is in order to succeed, you have to fail. People are going to tell you no. People tell me no all the time. Coaches quit on me all the time. Do I encourage them to stay on board? Do I think they're crazy to leave this awesome business? Absolutely. But there's only so much you can do. So put them aside, move forward, get new contacts, keep reaching out to more people. And um, you'll be amazed that, you know, people will come back to you. And so my coaches, I just give them this big pep talk and be like, Listen, they think no one says any no. Because I'm successful, no one ever says no to me. People say no to me all the time. So what? Who cares? Say no. I move on to the next person. So I try to tell my coaches, be consistent. Follow the three vital behaviors. Keep checking in. Keep following up. Um, I had a you know, coach today say, you know, she's really just kind of down. And she says, I wish I never kind of stepped back from the business. She was my first coach. And she just recently reached Diamond. And she said, I really wish that I never, you know, step back from this. I wish I stayed with it. And I said, you know, that's what this business is about is being consistent. And I said, you know, for you, and I think, you know, for her, it was more her confidence piece. And I said, I want you to focus on personal development because she never felt good about, you know, what she did or whatever. And it was just that confidence piece. And that's probably a lot of you on here is you don't feel confident and, you know, first it comes from the belief, the belief in what you're doing, the belief in the product, the belief in this company, and then sharing your story is what's so important. And, you know, if you're struggling with that and you're lacking that confidence, then you, your focus needs to be personal development, whether it's a book, audio, but every single day, no matter what, you have to get your personal development in. That should be the number one thing for you if you're lacking confidence in this business. Absolutely. Personal development is huge. Yeah. yeah. That's my number one vital behavior. It's the, I, I, the first thing I do when I wake up is take E&E. &E, and while that's kicking in for 10 minutes, I read or listen and take notes. And then I do my workout. Um, and then I'm, making my, I'm having my shake and I'm doing some more personal development after my workout. And so in that first hour of the day, I've knocked out two of the, the three vital behaviors, the two most important, um, I think. And then that, that sets you up. That's like the foundation for the third vital behavior of inviting. Um, okay, cool. So one last question before we jump in. We talk about what to expect with this extreme program. Um, so if you like look back you know, at all like the struggles and, and everything you had to go through and all the obstacles and, and all the no's, um, and now you kind of look and you have this six-figure income and, and all this freedom to do the things you want to do, um, I guess what – what has Beachbody done for you and how has your life changed because you stuck around long enough for the results to show up? Well, I think, um, yes, it's definitely that freedom. I feel like I'm still in that place where I'm working really hard and I'm putting in hours and I, you know, today I worked all day and you know, my kids were in and out playing in the snow and my daughter at one point oh, broke my heart. And I, I'm sure some of you have been there. And she came in and, you know, she's saying, can you help me with my boots? Can you help me with my gloves? Can you? And I'm like responding to people. I'm doing my work. And can I have lunch? Can I have this? Can I have that? And I'm like, yup. And she goes, I don't even want to ask you one more thing because it took you 20 minutes for you to do this for me. And I'm like, ah. and I went up to her and I hugged her and I squeezed her so tight. And we just hugged and we hugged and we hugged. She wouldn't let go. And I didn't let go. And I thought, oh. What am I doing? They're home with me today. And here I am busting my butt, working so hard. And they're telling me stories and I'm sort of listening and not. And I'm sure there's so many of you that struggle with that as a parent. And, and 
you know, you just want to be all and do all and you want, and I want this business so bad and I want to be successful so bad because I want so much for my family and so much for my kids and I want that freedom. Yes, I have that freedom and I have so much freedom, but I'm, I just, I don't know. Sometimes I just don't stop. And, and I just want you guys to step back a little bit and realize that your kids and you know, that's my why is my kids. And that has to be your number one thing. And you know, some of you might not have kids and, and, and that, you know, may not even come into play, but maybe it's family, maybe it's whatever your why is, that's what you need to focus on. And you know, I just, I just keep pushing and pushing and pushing because I know someday I'm waiting for that day to kind of sit back. I, I saw, I don't know, um, Patrick, you saw Greg's off and running and on some ski trip with all a bunch of the other guys in beach body. And I'm thinking, Oh my God, you know, I want that day to be able to just go and do, and can I do that now? Absolutely. But I guess I just, I'm afraid to kind of let go of that because I'm in, I'm really been very successful and, and it's that consistency piece. And I had a breakdown the other day, two days ago, bad, bad mistake. I tried to upload some pictures to my computer and I actually lost all my pictures on my phone. Um, I got a new phone in December and everything December 18th forward, which means Christmas, all my kids pictures at Christmas, my family at Christmas, my 91 grandmother that God forbid someday she's going to be gone. Those were precious pictures. I had my husband's before pictures for the 21 day fix. So these pictures that I'm comparing to are not his pictures. Like just three weeks ago, they were from September and he looked worse three weeks ago. And I wish that belly hanging down was the pictures I had. So I was like devastated, devastated that I lost all those pictures. And I had to sit back. I lost, I mean, I just lost it. I cried. I screamed. My daughter came up to me. She was hugging me. She felt so bad for me. And I was like, this is an epic failure. What am I doing? I can't believe this. And then I kept remembering so many pictures that were in my phone. And then I stepped, and, and this was the day, I, I, it was Saturday, and I just worked so hard all day. I had so much work to get done with Beachbody. And then I did this, and it just, like, I just, like, lost it. And so then I realized that, you know what, sometimes you just have to step back and not put all that time and all that effort into something. And then I just got to the point where I just made a stupid error. And then I realized Things got put into perspective when I, you know, heard about someone got killed in a car accident. Someone else's cousin died at 55. Someone else just like, really? You're getting discouraged and upset about pictures. Yes, pictures are memories. So I had to let it go. And I had to realize that I have to move forward. I have to put this in the past. I have to continue being a leader for my team. I can't get down. I have to keep going forward. And so is it still bothering me? Yes, it is inside a little bit. I do have to admit that. But I still am plugging away. I'm not letting that pull me down. I'm not letting that distract me. I'm not letting that put me in a bad place. I'm still pushing forward. I'm still adding success club points. I'm still adding coaches. I'm still following up. I'm still connecting with all my coaches. And, you know, my coaches, they even posted on my team. I said, I said, don't think life is all good with Chris Delastrito. I said, by the way, blah, 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 blah. I wanted them to know shit happens in my life. Sorry, I hope none of your kids are listening. But anyway, stuff happens in my life and not, it's not all perfect. And I have to find a way to get through it. And so I wasn't going to let that stop me from continuing to move forward in this business. Could I give up right now at July, at July, January, we'll see, I want summer, because I love the beach, but anyway, and there's too much snow here, but January 27th, is that what the date is? Yeah. Yeah, January 27th, you know, could I stop working right now for the next four days? I have 32 success club points. I could just sit back and cruise, absolutely, you know, but I don't. I keep following up because I want February, to be an amazing month. It's going to be team cup. I wish I had 32 points and I hope I have 32 points in February. And you know, I know I've got to prepare and plant those seeds now for February. And of course the excitement of extreme. 
I am very fortunate. I'm going to roll right into extreme. Okay. As I was very fortunate to be part of, and I don't know if I'm rambling, if I'm even staying on topic, Patrick, but I'm just kind of going with it. Um, but I like it. I'm into it. No, okay, I mean, it's, it, it's funny. Right. It's like, it, cause I kind of felt the same way. It was like, <clears throat> I worked, you know, I worked so hard to create that freedom to the freedom of choice, the freedom of not having to be locked down to a job, the freedom to mold the life that I want. And then I, that happened. And then I was like, what's my why now? And yeah, I could just step back and not do anything, but I'm, I don't know. I'm not the type of person that just wants to sit on the beach for hours on end. There's something about passing on what this business, what this opportunity has done for me, passing that on to others. And like first showing people that, okay, there's another way than being stuck. There's another, there's, there's another option out there. Cause I didn't even know that when I had a full-time job, I had no clue that there was another way besides working at a job that you didn't love. I thought that's just how it was. You work at a job, you don't have to love it, but you have to do it to make a living. And that's the way life is. And then I saw there was this other option. And then I made it work by watching other people do it and following them and surrounding myself with people like that. And so now, like, I, now that I've been able to accomplish that, it's like, why stop? Like, why not show other people that there's another way out there too and show them that they can do it too by just doing those simple things? Um, it is. It's, for me, it's just so much, it's so rewarding to, to be able to pass that along to kind of pay it forward. Uh, but all right, so I totally get what you're talking about. Um, but you do have to step back and spend time with your family. Um, that's the most important thing. Uh, but now you have the, the freedom to do that because this has given you that, which is so cool. Um, okay, so what do we need to know about 21 Day Fix that's going to help us get the word out and help as many people as we can with this new program? So I think that you guys need to focus on, I'm, I'm hoping that you all had a lot of people in the last, whatever, nine months it's been that 21 Day Fix has been out, that you've had a lot of people who have done the 21 day fix. They've done round one, round two, round three. A lot of people keep doing more rounds. I mean, I have an ongoing challenge group that we um, have the 21 days and then we close that group and we open up a new group. And then we offer the opportunity for those people in that group. If they want to do another round, we add them into the new group. And then as we're adding new people in, they go into that new group. And it's been going since. And we've had great success and added coaches in because they've had with the 21 day fix so I would be sure that you're connected one day fix and you want to make sure you reach out to them especially those people who have done one two or three rounds I mean they've got to be bored by now I would think and they're ready to up their game so 21 day fix and at this point they're they're used to the nutrition plan there were some people in test group who had never done the 21 day fix and I was like oh my god I'm up on these people because I've been following the 21 day fix plan since April I have followed it consistently Yes, I've been on vacation. Yes, I've, you know, the weekends you fall off. Absolutely. But I know when Monday morning hits, I get my containers out, I'm measuring, and I'm back at it. And, you know, if I gain two, three, five pounds, I know I can lose it in that week, you know, Monday through Thursday. And then, of course, the weekends hit and woo, time for some wine and whatever else, um, which is Not usually anymore. the killer. But Not with extreme, I, right? I have till February 23rd, Patrick. Oh, okay. <laughs> But it's true, extreme, and I did, I fully committed when I was in the test group in October. It was hard, I didn't go out to dinner at all for three weeks, I cooked meals for 21 days, and here I am the past 21 days cooking for my husband. Um, so I'm ready for some a night out, um, and I'll be taking, making sure that happens before I start. But you know, those 21 days, it's just 21 days. I know it sounds like a long time, but once you get past that first week, the first week is the toughest. There are two plans. There's the regular plan, which is very similar to the plan that we're doing right now, but you're not allowed your cheats, which is your wine and your chocolate. Um, and your, there are some food differences in foods um, on that, you know, what you're putting in, in the containers. And I learned that I, as I went. And what I loved about being in the test group, and I know Patrick was in the pile one, is to be on the other side of, I just see your comment here, Michelle, can you eat cheese? No dairy. No dairy. And I'm a very big fan of no dairy. I um, pretty much eat no dairy um, most of the time. Um, anyway, no, no, it is fine. You'll be okay. <laughs> um, it's, you know, 
I've stopped eating dairy. I went on three, I, I, someone had told me about no dairy and I love cheese. I love pizza. I love nachos. I love all that stuff. And I made that commitment three weeks, given up dairy. And so I did it, gave up dairy. And then all of a sudden I said, okay, let me do it again. And then after like, it's those three weeks that helped to break a habit. So I was done with the dairy. Every once in a while, I love to have a nacho, some taco dips, pizza, whatever. I just had pizza last night with cheese on it. And so, but you, you'll, be, you, you'll be amazed at the difference you feel when you don't put dairy into your body. And I know for me, every time I have dairy, I'm up three pounds the next day because it definitely bloats you. So get rid of the dairy, get rid of the chocolate, get rid of the wine. It's three weeks. And, you know, if you really look in to get some extreme results, those are the things you have to commit to. And so there's some things on there. A lot of things you have to look at is, and I didn't realize was like things that are filled with sodium. And I don't eat meat. So for me, it's really hard for me to get protein in. So I'm struggling on there to get protein. I was eating so much cod and fish and I would leave bacon sheets of cod, especially on a competition day. And um, for me... You know, um, you know, it's Shakeology, tempeh, and fish, and eggs. And for, for a long time after I did the Ultimate Reset, I didn't do eggs for a good year. So it was really hard for me to get in protein. But I did notice because of this plan, it is amazing when you get all that protein in your body, re like real protein, like your nails, um, everything, it's, uh, and, and how good you feel and how your body is fueled for those extreme workouts the next day. Um, and that's what's really tough is, you know, the workouts all have weights. They're hard. They're tough. But right now I'm doing max 30. So I'm like, well, I think I'm going to be in pretty good shape for extreme because I'm not even maxing out on some days with um, – and I'm pretty crazy anyway with my workouts. So, But I really feel like I'm going to be in so much better shape this time around with extreme – because I just came off Pio from the summer and I did one week of P90 and then I jumped into the extreme. So I was not ready for that. And so now I feel like after insanity, it's going to make a huge difference. So, yep. okay. Um, Cause that's going to be a big question that I, like one of the biggest questions is um, what's the biggest, what are the biggest differences between 21 day fix and 21 day fix extreme? Uh, and then like, you know, if someone has 20 pounds to lose, like how do you help them figure out which one's the best fit uh, or, or depending on the person, I guess, what would be the biggest differences between the two? So I honestly feel like someone coming off the couch, someone who has not exercised, someone who's like, oh, I want extreme results. I want to lose 20 pounds fast. You're not recommending the 21 day extreme to them. You want to get them started with the original 21 day. This is not a program for somebody who's not in shape. You have to be pretty physically fit. I mean, you can certainly follow the modifier, but these are extreme workouts. This is not something I am recommending to a beginner. Absolutely not. They can start with the 21-day fix. Awesome. Cool. And then if someone, for someone who's done 21-day fix, what would you tell them is going to be different about extreme? I think it's just, uh, it's much more intense. Um, you're adding weight. Um, the biggest thing I think is that you really need um, is your form. I, I, get, I get worried about jumping with weights. So I would rather take it slower and be in the correct position. You know, if you're doing lunges, you're doing squats with weights. I would definitely recommend being making sure your your form is correct and autumn does an amazing job with that cueing you so you're in the proper position and she i mean throughout the whole thing that's one thing i love about that is her cueing is right on but just make sure you're instead of you know like trying to like go full force be in the best correct position for any of the moves awesome cool and then what about how is the nutrition plan a little bit different so the nutrition plan is definitely much more intense. Um, there is the competition plan, which is the competition plan similar to what she uses before her competitions, because you're going to, on competition days, you're giving up, I think it's carbs and fruit. I think you get one carb a day and maybe no fruits. And then it's like protein and protein and protein and protein and meh. Lean, um, lean protein, right? Like fish, tilapia or something. 
Yeah. Yeah. Fish. You know, it's like mostly uh, she has, she eats cod, which it's all cod the whole time. Like I think I had salmon a couple times, which I don't think I was supposed to. Like I realized after the fact there were certain things I shouldn't have been doing. Um, and like, you know, they say mustard's free, so you can put mustard on whatever. Well, a lot of mustard has sodium in it. And they're like, no, you can't have that much. Or they say, oh, you can have hot sauce. Well, you can't have red hot sauce, Frank's red hot sauce, because it's full of sodium. You can have Tabasco, you know. So it's those little things. But it's going to give you all those lists of foods. It's going to give you everything. It's going to be more recipes. If you guys listen to the National Coach Call, and if you haven't, um, Autumn gave some um, details about that. And she really explained um, you know, the different foods and, and, and there's definitely more recipes in there and try the recipes, the hot cakes are my favorite. She posted on her page, I think this week. Um, but, um, yeah, so utilize those recipes and, and plan ahead. I, I, I'm a big believer Sunday nights, you know, read through everything before you get started. Don't get the program and start the next day. Prep, get your food prepped you know, boil your eggs, cook your grilled chicken, um, wash all your fruit, put it in containers, cut up your veggies, um, prepare for a stir fry, all of that stuff you want to be prepped ahead. And you have to look at your next day, you know, is it a regular day or is it a comp day? And if you know you're going to be out and gone for the day, you better cook your fish and you better cook your chicken ahead of time and have everything prepped so you're ready to go and you can grab it and put it in containers. So prepping is huge. Awesome. Cool. Let me just read. I just wanted to read a couple of the notes I took from, from Autumn's call. Um, and then maybe it might, you might want to add something to it. But uh, so she says 21 day fix. The regular was created for everyone and anyone. Extreme is not for beginners. It's for people who have a baseline of fitness. Like you said, it's not for people trying to lose a lot of weight. The workouts are still 30 minutes, but they are more intense. There is still a modifier, but the modifier is working hard. There are weights in every workout, even Pilates. The nutrition is more dialed in, same containers though. 21 day fix extreme meal plan has no wine or chocolate like the original, which is tough. Then there is the countdown to competition meal plan. That's a whole other level. You won't starve yourself. You'll be eating a ton, but it's more dialed in. Uh, so there's a few options for depending on how dialed in you want your nutrition to get. Cardio extreme, upper, lower Pilates, yoga, dirty, 30. Um, I wouldn't jump into this if you haven't been working out at all. Each food category has a list of foods in order from best to worst. The foods that were at the bottom of the original 21 day fix, a lot of them have been taken out in the extreme meal plan, uh, but there's more recipes that have been added. Um, and so she says, try cutting wine for three weeks and see how you feel. You don't think it'll make a difference, but just trust me. Uh, if you have slip, if you slip up, don't beat yourself up. Just get back at it. Um, so is that kind of, Makes sense. That's it. No, that's everything. I mean, um, so I think, um, you know, I mean, everything you said is exactly it. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to think what else. I popped up my pictures, but I can't, I don't know if you guys can, you, guys can, can see you them, but there's my, my, I don't know if you could see them or not. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, you can. But I lost eight pounds and I don't even remember. That's awesome. Cool. And I didn't really need to lose like a ton of weight. Um, but I trimmed down a little bit. Like I, I tried to beef up when I found out I was uh, <laughs> at the extreme. So, you know, I, you know, and that's what you see. You trying to work on your before photo? I was. <laughs> I lived it up that weekend once I found out I was in the test group. I'm like, woo, wine, yay. Oh, um, but, you know, like I'll have these posted on my page and you know, I mean, you guys might see them. So, but there were other people who had more extreme results. I mean, Lauren Duke had amazing results. I mean, she's done a few more rounds. I've only done the one round. A lot of the people in the test group have continued, but I had a plan. I was getting through P90. I was getting through max 30. And then um, after I'm done in three, three weeks, two weeks left of max 30, then I'm on to extreme for two cycles before Cancun is my goal. So before Cancun. what is this? Joe, just hard liquor. What? No, no liquor, no wine, no liquor, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. How about Shakeology? You can, you, can you have Shakeology all 21 days? Someone you was saying can. that on the comp, the, the uh, competition plan, it's not in there. What's up with that? Compet Did Carl Deichler like, let that get through? He's, he let that meal plan go through without Shakeology? He's, he's like, Mr. You got to go 365 for 365 this year. 
I know it's, you know, it's, I, and we struggled with that in the test group. We talked about that and we said, well, how can we say we didn't like the fa fact that there's no Shakeology, but when they do those competition plans, there's certain carb ratios that they're not allowed to have. And I think that's where that comes into play. So they say no on those three days, which, you know, you can't wait after that two days or whatever. I don't know if it's two or three days together of the, that you're like, oh my God, I cannot wait for it, you know, my Shakeology or a piece of fruit, um, you're like dying for it. So, um, <laughs> but it's okay. You know, like I'm creating an event page and I'm starting, um, February 23rd is my first kind of test group support group. And I've got a list of people who are ready to be in it, but you know, it's great to be in a test group. Cause you know, when a new program comes out and you're like, you're on board at the same time as everybody else. But now I've kind of feel like, and you probably know, Patrick, like, you kind of have that one up. So you feel like, Oh my God, I can really help these people. I've been through it. I can answer the questions. I feel like I'm an expert. So it's great to have that experience. And, um, I mean, I think that, you know, will help and make a difference. And then if people have questions, I have that resource of posting on the 21 day fix group, you know, our support group that I was in for the test group. And I still ask questions on there. Autumn responds, the people on there respond. So I get answers right away which That's is awesome. great to have that. Um, and you we're going to kind of be part of it too, you know, like there's going to be so many people that are going to want to look at people that are doing the 21 day fix extreme and kind of use them as a guinea pig. So even though we weren't in the test group, we're going to be kind of be a test group for a lot of people that are going to just want to sit back and watch to see the results come out before they jump in. Uh, so if you go out and you can't get a ton of people that want to do it with you in February, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it yourself and, and kind of have a, a, be a test group in the guinea pig for other people that are going to be watching every step of the way. And then maybe they'll want to join you on your second round in March, which would be really cool. Um, right. but, Absolutely. You guys, I highly recommend buy the pro program Monday, get on there, order it and uh, make sure you get it and get started yourselves. And, you know, I'm happy to answer any questions along the way. If you guys have any questions in regards to it. Can I ask a question? I asked on the chat, but I don't think you saw it. Go ahead. Um, where will vegetarians get their protein from if there's no dairy? Is there a vegetarian option? So, um, well, to be honest with you, I'm vegetarian and I don't do dairy. So I don't know if you do eggs or not, but, um, you well, know, you can do it. eggs. I, you know, egg whites, it's eight. I'm sorry? Oh, no, I was saying it's not me. It's another coach. Um, I don't think she does fish or eggs or maybe she does eggs Tofu. okay yeah so tempeh um veggie burgers there's a but they recommended boca veggie burgers um so i kind of lived on those because i and you can eat two of them which was like woohoo <laughs> so you got it's boca veggie burger um tempeh um you got to figure your shakeology um Beans, but beans on the plan is a yellow. It's a carb. So, yeah. you know, as much as you think you can get the get it through there. But um, I have a, someone who's a vegetarian who does no fish, no eggs, and, you know, so it's really, really hard to where, where are you getting your protein? I mean, I, for me, think off of Shakeology. I mean, sometimes I'll do two Shakeology a day or I'll do a protein bar to get some protein. Yeah, can you have um, P90X bars? That was another thing I was thinking of. Um, I didn't do any P90X bars. Um, P90X bars, I love. I think they're so good, but I know they're not so good for you. Yeah. Um, but I will still eat them now and then, especially if I'm out and about and I need something. Um, but I buy um, some protein bars. They're online. They're called Dale's Raw Food Bars, and they're vegan. Um, they're awesome, I think. I think, I don't know, compared to some of the other protein bars out there, but you guys can go online and check it out. I'm just waiting for um, Beachbody to come out with a good protein bar. Like a Shakeology protein bar would be nice. They What's have up? A I've heard rumors. That. I've yeah, heard rumors about a Shakeology bar. Well, they'll come out with it. I'm sure they will, but I don't know when. I'm hoping they'll announce it soon. Like um, maybe Summit will hear it, but we keep asking. So what I keep saying day nine. Can you guys explain who's asking? Um, is it Jake and day nine is? They're talking about Ultimate Reset, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cool. Right, well, uh, okay. We're just yeah. ignoring you talking amongst ourselves, you know. <laughs> uh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Chris, so you are this month your 22nd 
right now for, for success goal points in the whole company. And well, so the like top, the top. Is it the top 30 that get the call? I think it's 15. And I was kind oh. of going to step back a little bit. I think it's 15 for all diamonds and then 15 for star diamond above. And I thought, all right, I'm not going to push it anymore. I'm going to save my points for February. But now I'm like, do I push it to get this call? So whatever, whatever happens, happens, but whatever. It's still to me, it's like, wow, that's great. You know, this is the most points I think I've ever had. So that's awesome. Cool. Well, we're going to be rooting you on and Thank you. we're very appreciative that you took the time to come and chat with us. And, uh, we will be, we're going to be surrounding you at Cancun. The team boom train is going to be pulling in and, uh, we know you like to party because Team Boom has been partying with you for a few years now. So we're looking forward to seeing you in Cancun. Listen, where are your sisters? I don't see them on here. Hey, or your mother or your father. Do you see the mother? Do you see the mother? Where is she? Hi, Chris. Chris? Where? Oh, there you are. You're on page two. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. awesome. See you. Where are Cancun. the girls? They're not here? They were on. They were on. I think, well, Andrea probably got caught up with the babies. I yeah. changed it. I changed the call. We usually do Wednesdays. So, like, I think they yeah. all, everyone plans stuff for Tuesdays. It was, like, their uh, night off. And, uh, I don't see Amy either. Uh, Andrea was on. Andrea was on. I felt the wrath of Amy when I told her that the team call was moved to Tuesday. She was not, she was not okay. happy. <laughs> hey, hey, Chris, we're going to be seeing you in Cancun. No doubt about that. You'll be seeing his, uh, his high kicks, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah awesome. I'm working on it. Get a guys. little more flexible. Great call, Chris. Congratulations. You guys are so cute. I love you guys. <laughs> Can't wait to see you. Yeah. Thanks so much, Chris. That was All right. awesome. All right. No problem. Thank you so much for having me on the call. I appreciate it. Anytime. Bye. We loved it. All right, Thank guys. You. Go after it. See you guys. Boom. Bye. Boom. Boom.